Listen, hey, pumpkins, I miss y'all so much. Tonight's Facebook Live is being brought to you by Choo Choo Train Baby. So, I want you to stop at the Diamond and Silk Store, diamondandsilkstore.com, get your Choo Choo Train mugs, T-shirts, hoodies, and even buy your Trump bling pins because yes. we have to stand behind our president, President Trump. That's right. Your name is entered into a drawing. They're going to be pulling names on March the 3rd, 2017, and five people are going to be having lunch with Diamond and Silk across the country. So five. visit the Diamond and yes. Silk store, diamondandsilkstore.com. All the choo-choo train stuff. I mean, I'm just loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Yes. Unfortunately, we could not do Twitter Live tonight because... Right. Of these updates on these devices, they didn't tell nobody. They didn't tell nobody. Yeah, everybody didn't get the memo they on didn't. that. I don't, I'm not <laughs> understanding that. That's how it is when they do updates. So let's go ahead with this right here, and we just post it to Twitter. Okay. So <clears throat> that's how we have to do it. Okay, y'all. Okay. So you all know that a lot has happened within the past week or so. This is, you know, President Trump's second week in office. How many people think he's doing a phenomenal job? Right. How many think he's doing good? <laughs> he's doing a phenomenal And he's doing what he said he's going to do. He's doing what he he's said he's it. going to do. Yeah. Now, let's back it up. You know, last night was the Super Bowl. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. And Lady Gaga performed halftime. And really, though I was going for a certain team. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but I was really watching the Super Bowl just to see how Lady Gaga will perform because I kept hearing through the grapevine that she was going to make a political statement and we were under the assumption that she was going to make it against President Trump. Right. And so we tweeted out, don't start none, won't be none. That's right. And you know what? When I looked at halftime, she didn't start none, uh -huh. so it wasn't none. We didn't have to, we didn't have to start going in on her because i was ready you right and you're absolutely right mm -hmm. and she did a phenomenal job okay uh -huh. but you know after you look at everything mm -hmm. there was some undercover hidden messages mm -hmm. that was entwined there that some people caught on to but i want them to understand something because a lot of times you can't find something unless you're looking for it right or you may see it a particular way if mm -hmm. that's what you're looking for right she sang um, the song at the beginning, this land is your land, this land is my mm. land. But she did not say from California to the New York Islands. Okay. She did not say that, mm. okay? And so some people heard that and thought that she was talking undercoverly about illegal immigrants and, and, and refugees. Right. Um, because whenever they're out protesting and chanting, this is what they say right. or sing mm -hmm. <clears throat> what I want to say is that this land is your land this land is my land but in order to obtain a piece of this land you have to follow the <laughs> laws of the land you got to follow the laws of I agree okay. with you I agree with you okay. on that so, so I didn't take it personally mm -hmm. I didn't take it as a, how a lot of people took it I took it as unity right because we all got to live here together mm -hmm. as one race right and that's the human race and Not, as Americans <clears throat> and as Americans uh -huh, right. that's mm -hmm. right legally mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I also thought that you know, her job was to entertain yes. doing halftime. That's right. She did her job. Yes. I was happy she didn't make this political. Yes. I don't know what's happening in our country. I don't care if you had a PTA meeting, somebody got to stand up and make something political. <sighs> I don't care if you had the car wash, somebody got to be political about something. Hmm. There's a time and there's a place. We cannot always take this type of income in everywhere. Right. I wanted to just sit back with some popcorn and watch the Super Bowl. Exactly. Okay, that's exactly. what I was intended on doing. Exactly. And she did an excellent performance. She was just jumping off of stuff and flying everywhere. I said, Lord, <laughs> don't let the ropes break. <laughs> but she did what she was paid to do, right. which was entertain the mm -hmm. audience during halftime. Right. And I hope that a lot more entertainers Follow Take suit. a page uh -huh. out of her book. Yeah. Because this was not the time to be political because the president is already in office. He's already in office. That's the 45th right. president is President Trump. Uh -huh. So it's not the time to be political, even though right. she said negative things about our president. Right. But last night was the time for her to perform That's right. and entertain. Yeah. Because once we was done with her, right. we wanted to continue on watching the 
Super Bowl. The Super Bowl game. That's right. That's Where right. you saw the biggest upset Woo. that we've ever seen. Yeah. But I tell you, those Patriots, they surely pulled the it. The second biggest upset in history. And the first one was, was President Trump. President Trump, whenever he got elected. <laughs> the second one was Tom Brady. Was Tom Brady. Girl. I mean, I just, okay, so. I was, okay, let me tell you how it went down. Okay. So I'm sitting up there, okay, watching the, the halftime. Right. So I'm like, okay, in case I got to get Lady Gaga straight. Right, right, okay. right. Well, I didn't have to get her straight. Right. All of a sudden, I turned. It was 28 to 28. I'm like, what's going on? Uh-huh. I'm like, uh-oh, now we got yeah. a game. Now we got a game, baby. Well, let me tell you what happened with me. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, it was 3 to 28. Uh-huh. And I just shut down my computer and I said, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I, I think it was Anita Baker that sang that song. <laughs> and I, I shut my computer down uh -huh. and I went ahead and shut the TV. And I said, let me just go take me a shower mm. and then get in bed and finish watching the rest of the game. Because I was like... I love Tom Brady, but sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Right. Girl, when I got out of that shower, minding my own business, here you come calling, talking about look like we got us look a game. Look like we got us a game, And while baby. in the shower, I was thinking, you know, one thing about Tom Brady, he's a winner. Mm -hmm. He loves to win. Mm -hmm. And I've seen the team come back mm -hmm. from, from being down so mm -hmm. long. He set so many records last night and made so many, uh, 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 so much history uh -huh. because they were saying, no team have ever come back mm -hmm. from a person that made uh, 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 another team that made uh, two touchdowns. Before. Right. No, and I, in my mind, I was like, there is a God. <laughs> Hello? But when you called me and I turned on the TV and I was like, oh, my God, 28 to 28. Oh, my goodness. Here come the quarterback and the running back. And then they're going to kick it. And, oh, and it's going in overtime. Uh -huh. It's about to go in overtime. Four, three, two, one. We're in overtime. So we stayed on the phone with yes. each other all the way to that game all ended. I was howling and ended. screaming all over the place. Yes. Because I thought they were out, down and out. But honey, I tell you, this, that game right there showed me that. Yes. I don't care if you get to your last. To your last. Whatever little breath you got, yes. you just keep going. Because keep that forward. may be the breath that you need to win. The boys and both sides played no, well. Yes, the the Atlanta Falcons uh, they, they played did a marvelous they played good job. too. Yes. Both sides did well, but yes. it had to be one winner. It had to be one. And winner. you know our president, President Trump. Yes, he called it. He sure did. Anything he bet on, y'all, y'all better put some money on. That's it. Right. Our president know what he be talking yes. about. Yes, and so I heard that he was getting a lot of hate. When they thought that the Patriots was losing, uh -huh. he was getting a lot of hate. They were going over there on his Facebook page, just throwing hate and shade at him. Uh, right. Then all of a sudden. All <laughs> of a sudden. And that's another thing. Yes. When you playing this football yeah. and you got a group of young people, uh -huh. they tire themselves out first. Right. <laughs> right. They do, that's girl. right. That's right. And what the Falcons did. They tied themselves out. So yes. that second half, yes. the them Patriots, they See, were ready that's, for. That's the old heads. The old heads <laughs> play smart. Yes, the, the, the young heads, they just they tied themselves them out. out at the beginning. Now you don't wore yourself out. That's now right. look, now that's let right. me show you what we're working with, that's baby. Right. Let me that's show right. you what we're working with. And so, you know, they may count you out sometimes, mm -hmm. but don't give up. Mm -mm. Just don't give up. Um, just because you are ahead, just because you are ahead, keep this in mind too. Right. Just because you are ahead, don't get laxed because that's what happened with Hillary Clinton. Oh. I mean, just I, okay, I'm trying Listen, to throw no shade. Yeah, right, that's right. what happened with her. That's right. She, they thought she was ahead. Right. The media pushed her up like she was ahead. That's what they did. And she got laxed. That's what. <laughs> And you know, not love yes. who the president, That's President right. Donald J. Trump. That's right. I absolutely it love it. It was a phenomenal are. game. It was one of the best Super Bowl games I've ever yes. seen. Yes. And, and normally I'm not really into, into the it. Super Bowl. Right. Because I was like, I just need to see what Lady Gaga about to do. Because she about to get, uh, she, Gaga going to be Google. Google. She's going to be go. Yes. And I think somebody may have talked to her about her career. You want to save right. your career? Because if she, right. I, I, I predicted yes. that if she went the wrong way, yes. the whole audience would start well, booing her. They would start booing her. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting there waiting and anticipating. I had my wig ready to the side, <laughs> makeup ready just in case I had to put it on. Uh -huh. I was ready and prepared to go into mm -hmm. action so we can get her straight. Oh, yeah. I really was. Oh, yeah. And another thing, the Atlanta, Atlanta Falcons mm -hmm. uh, uh, managers. 
<laughs> okay. It was just funny to me. You know, I saw them up there laughing and celebrating at the beginning of everything. Mm -hmm. But when they came downstairs, <laughs> him and her, they were like, shut up. Yeah. No, no, we're not going to get up. Yeah. We're going to get beat. <laughs> they were like, he was looking good in that pinstripe shoe. Uh -huh. He was looking good in that red dress. Yeah, uh -huh. But I was like, uh -huh. <laughs> See, that's you cannot. Listen, you can't start. Now, okay. Now, from the very beginning, yeah, we, we will equate this with politics. We okay. knew that President Trump or Donald Trump was going to be the 45th president. We knew this that. is something that we felt. That's why we will pick at people, yeah. laugh, yeah. because this is something that we really, really, really felt. Right. And thank God this swing got the pendle swung our thank way. Thank you, Lord. Okay? Hallelujah. <laughs> but one thing that you can't do is can't be sitting up there celebrating. Yes. Don't count your biddies before they count them before they have. Now let baby. me tell you something. Though we were celebrating with President Trump, right. we didn't count our biddies before they had. That's right. Meaning we didn't go somewhere and sit down. Right. We had to get out there and do the groundwork. And every time they try to kick us down lower, we went lower underground. Absolutely, that's, that's right. We, and that's called the grass. We roots. did the grassroots work. work. That's what we that's did. Right. And so when I look at the game, and when I look at the. The, the the politics on the politics side, right. how we won the presidency, how yes. the man we wanted to be president is now president. Right. I'm like, there is a message in There's this There's a message, Never give up and don't count your biddies before they, they hatch. hatch. And even though they see you celebrate, you have to be something under God. That's there right. should have been somebody back there in that locker room talking to the faculty saying, listen, listen. y'all done got out there with y'all young behind uh -huh. and y'all tied up, drink some more Gatorade. Get these boys some protein. Because we got to go win a game, but they probably got laughs. They got laughs. I was looking at videos where you had them down there in Atlanta already celebrating. Then all of a sudden, it was a shot. It was upset. It was, it was like, like <gasps> <laughs> I, must, I wonder are they protesting. I hope not. <laughs> Is there any kind <laughs> Because listen, the Falcons play really good. They play they played um, really they well. I was we like, throwing no shade at the Falcons. The no. Falcons play good. They was. They was a hell of a team uh, to beat. But you were playing good enough because my Patriots came back yes. and your job. <laughs> I was, see, and listen, listen, I'm not taking sides. Right, right. I was on Tom Brady's side. We was on Tom Brady's side. I was on the blue yeah. side because I yes. already knew it. And I'm like, Lord, were well, they going to get beat? Well, yes. well. Yes. But my babies came back. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, y'all. They shut it down. Yes. That's why you cannot get lax on the game. That's right. You got to still have the same stamina. Yes. And the one thing that we did, even in politics, all the way through, we had the same, same level of stamina. That's we didn't right. get tired. No, we was about it, about it. Right. Because our man was going to win this. Right. So if you want to equate the ball, yes. I'm just, it's exactly. amazing. And our man is friends with Tom Brady. And I mean, <laughs> it just worked out very, very well. Mm -hmm. Somebody said something about the uh, the three sisters that uh, sang last night. Okay. Um, oh, they did a magnificent job with their voices. was was har They harmonized right. very well. Mm -hmm. But people want to now get all bent out of shape because they add the word sisterhood. Well, we sisters. I What's know. Wrong with that? I, I understand. And that was their version of the song that they were singing. Mm -hmm. So I mean, sometimes it's not best to turn a little uh, mold into a big old mountain. Yeah, y'all. Okay. Uh, you know that last night I felt like we was united because when they was bringing the football down to the stage, I watched them. You had. White people, black people, beige people, brown people, red people, yellow people, blue people, all of these different people kissing that same that football. That same football. Now, stop right there. Mm -hmm. I want to give a shout out to Barbara Bush and, and, and Senior Bush. Oh, yes. I was so, I didn't know they were out the hospital. Yeah. Where have I been? Y'all, we've been very, very busy. That's right. So, I must have been out of the loop of things. Right. But I was so happy. happy. To see them do the corn toss, I said, oh, they got the yes. hospital. I was so, 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 exactly. so happy. Exactly. And I saw everybody kissing that one ball. Because I'm right. like, how we know somebody don't Hello. got a herpes in? I'm not going to kiss that ball. Every time I saw them kiss, I was like. But they oh. were so But they were excited. excited. And it, they was united. Uh -huh. It wasn't about black or white. That's right. It wasn't about fat or skinny. Uh -huh. It was about you all. We did this We just together. won this ride. And unity. Now, That's right. Now, when they got up on the stage, I can't remember his name. He got a little gap in his teeth. I cannot remember his name right off the end. I, I I'm looking either. at him. I can't He's either. a fine guy, but he got a little yeah, gap he, in his teeth. He's he, he fine. All of a sudden, when they handed that trophy thing over to whoever the speaker was, I heard all of this booing. I said, I see that ain't nothing but 
with the liberals. Mm. See, you cannot boo when people win fair and square. What? Right. We got to get out of got that. Got to get out of that. When people win fair and square, yeah. they won fair and square. Right. Why are we booing people? But the people, oh, Both sides play hard, but it can only be, be one, one winner. winner. Everybody can't get no trophy. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Everybody can't get no trophy. But you ask the question, why do we boo? Well, when you, when you look at how the people continue to do it, in this whole world, if you go to say something wrong, do you know now a protest can break out on you? Just it's so just sad. Break out into a protest because mm -hmm. I don't agree with this. Well, if you don't agree, it's a lot it's, of things I don't agree with. Right. I don't agree with going to Kentucky Fried Chicken and eating crispy. That's original right. to me tastes I better. like original. Right. <laughs> right. Now listen. We ain't, I'm sorry. We ain't nobody they, paying us. They, they ain't paying us. Don't go to Kentucky Fried don't, Chicken and eat crispy. You can't tell them that either. Oh, don't tell no, them that. just leave it alone. <laughs> How can we talk about chicken wings? You say chicken wings. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, listen, you all, everybody can't be winners. It's got, it takes one person to win. Everybody can't win. Everybody can't win. So if win. that one team win, everybody should have been congratulated. That's that one right. Team, even and, though both sides, they played I very hard. And I saw the, the team from the Atlanta Falcons. I saw them congratulate the New England uh, mm -hmm. Patriots. I saw them do that. Great. And that was, that mm -hmm. was good uh, showmanship. They that's right. Have, that's, that's how it's supposed to be. And even in your everyday living, you all, in the everyday living, with everything that's going on in the world, I saw somebody said that they would be so glad when they can start supporting President Trump in the opening to I keep know. from getting their so-and-so on kick. Y'all, I'm, like, I'm listening. Listen, I wish your mother would. Ooh, Look, listen yeah. to me. Now, I'm very quiet. Yeah, <laughs> you're very quiet. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm by my business. Right. I really do not yes. do but if I'm at the grocery store, right, right, sitting up by me some black grapes mm -hmm. and some mushrooms so I can make something stuffed with them, right, put something, mm -hmm. don't come up to me tripping about Donald J. Trump. That's right. Or about the 45th president of the United States because you go get your feelings hurt. Oh, yes. You go get your feelings hurt. Yes. And that's one thing I'm so happy that we were outspoken that's about right. him yes. where it, don't start no won't don't be done start, that's right we didn't go in no closet no. and hide mm -mm. we were probably the first African Americans outspoken. when it wasn't even popular to speak right. about President Trump that's right to speak about President Trump that's and right. how we supported him exactly so I don't allow anyone to bully me and tell me who I can and can't talk don't talk, talk to. make the mistake don't I make remember the mistake. Um, you know, we wear our, our pants when mm -hmm. we're feminine and when, whenever we're doing our interviews or what have you. And I have to I have to leave it in a certain space uh, whenever we're doing our feminine. And I forgot one day and went on about my business and I messed around. I stopped this this uh, burger joint and got me a little burger and some fries. Had on a black blouse and I had to go in to take care of some business, mm -hmm. right? Um, I, I needed I needed a, 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 a dryer and I needed a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So I went in to say, yes, uh, ma'am, I just need a, 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 a dryer and a refrigerator. And she was like, oh, it was a, it was a black lady. Mm -hmm. She was like, oh, and I'm like, oh, what? And I looked down and saw some crumbs on my chest mm -hmm. and I bust my, I said, oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Because you thought that was from the burger and I the fry. I thought it was from the fry, mm -hmm. from the crumbs from the fry because mm -hmm. my sister was hungry. Mm -hmm. But anywho, she pointed to my Trump pen and she said, no, nah, Trump. So I said, girl, this ain't got nothing to do with no Trump. That's right. Listen, I need a dryer and I need me a refrigerator. That's right. what I need. Right. And when I got her straight from the gate, mm -hmm. everybody in there looked at her and started laughing at her. Right. Because I told her, That's listen, right. President Trump is President Trump. That's right. right? He, now he, I need me a dryer uh -huh. and I need me a, a refrigerator. refrigerator. Right. That's so don't start tripping about no exactly. Trump. Exactly. That's right. That's right. So when I, when I got ready to leave, um, I had to check out with her. She mm -hmm. said, you know what? I like you. She said, because I didn't know if you were serious or not, but you're funny. I said, well, what other way am I supposed to mm -hmm. be? That's because right. what we got to learn how to do is it is my right to vote for whoever I choose to vote for, just like it was your right to mm -hmm. do that. But we do not get the right to take and criticize, ostracize, and damn near traumatize each other because of what we chose to do, That's which right. is our right. Which is our right. Exactly. And we got out and we voted who we wanted in. Right. And he is in. Yes.
Like we go, if he want to do it for another four years, we going right. to vote him in for those four, four years. years. That's how we going to do That's that. That's how it's going to happen. And y'all going to deal with it. That's right. And some of y'all going to get on the Trump train sooner or later. Yeah, she's going to have no other choice because she's going to start working. So speaking of people not being on the Trump train, you all, there is a judge out there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you all know that they placed a temporary pause on immigration because uh, seven countries they're not allowing people in our country until we can properly vet people mm -hmm. and then some of the refugees can't come in because we have to find out ways to properly vet these people that's right we should also build in their own zone in their their own land or whatever exactly in their safe zone their own home in their safe their own you know what i'm talking about say it still say it <laughs> they build their own uh build build them a safe zone in, in their, their own, own home. home right but okay. I was about to uh, also elaborate on what you just said about those seven countries. Keep in mind that those seven countries was deemed anti-America by President Obama. These are the same seven countries that President Obama had on his list. Mm -hmm. As these countries are hostile to America and he also put a temporary halt against these particular same countries. countries. Well, here's the deal, y'all. Mm -hmm. Now, according to Section 212 of the Immigration and Nationality Act mm -hmm. of 1952, right. whenever the president finds that the entry of any aliens or any class of aliens into the United States will be detrimental to the interests of the United States, he may by proclamation... Pro proclamation. Pro okay, say Proclamation. So. Thank you. <laughs> and for such period as he shall deem necessary... Suspend the entry of all aliens or any class of aliens as immigrants or not or non immigrants or impose on the entry of aliens any restrictions he may deem to be appropriate. Mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. So he really he had the power to do this. Yes, right. Now, remember, this is a temporary pause. Right. This is not permanent. This is temporary. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So now you got this federal judge. Is he a federal judge? He's a federal judge. Yeah. That wants to hawk it. That wants to put an end to what President Trump is trying to do. That's right. But here's the deal. Let's say if something jump off right now, uh -huh. who they go blame? Because they better not put the blame on President Trump. Hmm. That's gonna be a problem. Put the blame on the judge. Well, what the I judge gonna hawk it? I want to know to judge was he in the meeting with homeland security doing the briefings to hear of anything you know a, a, a lot of times people take and make a judgment because of the own hatred that they have in heart for in their heart for the person mm -hmm. but they're not doing it on the backs of the american people which is wrong you know i said how is it okay to use our constitution to protect illegal immigrants and non-american citizens but deem it a constitution to use the same constitution just to protect the American people. It's how how is it? that? How is <clears throat> it? Isn't it being hypocritical? It's being hypocritical because these, these laws and different things was put into place to protect the American people, people. first. But it's Period. like, forget about y'all. We don't yeah. care about your safety, you, but open up the borders and let them on in. Let them fly on in here from them locations. Mm -hmm. And if they start hacking off heads, then oh well. Right. And the thing is, is the, are the liberals trying to create havoc? Because at the end of the day, we still got to be safe. Even the ones that's out there protesting. Right. How do we even keep those people safe? Right. But what that, what a lot of times, what they want to do is take and deem President Trump's presidency as bad every time he do something good they are uh, opposition against it they kick against it so that that can deem it bad so you don't see to get to see how he wants to lower taxes or you don't get to see how he's putting different things in place to mm -hmm. help the american people all you see is protests <laughs> Right. Uh, 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 paid agitators, mm -hmm. paid rioters, right. destruction. Mm -hmm. Then you have the media <clears> that <throat> say the word ban. So everybody Look, start assuming. And, 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 and everybody, you know, the media is upset with President Trump for going off on the media, but That's he right. got to keep the media straight because they ain't nothing they, but liars. Straight liars. They take one thing and they do marginalize yes. it. And then they get people to they get people to react off their off of emotions. emotions. Off of emotions. That's right. And then you got all of these people all around the country right. rioting 
But what are you rioting right. about? A lot of what are you protesting know. about? Right. What are you destroying exactly. things for? It's because at the end of the day, yes. this temporary pause is going to protect you too. That's right. And if you're out there in the street, yes. what if somebody come and try to try to try to do some silliness? Hello. Now who fault would that be? Hmm. How can you protest and say, oh, Go ahead, come on, let these people in. Right. Then when somebody gun you down, yes. want to hack off your head. Yes. Now the first thing you're going to try to look at is the president. That's this ain't right. the president's fault. This is your fault exactly. for out there protesting to accept this stuff in our country. That's right. And this is any federal judge. Yes. Any federal judge that do not want to protect the American people. Why aren't they a judge? Need to be they should be disbarred. Get them up out of there. Get off the, this is about the protecting state. the American people. Yes. And the President Trump has the right, right. to do this yes. if he chooses to. And not to mention the different <clears throat> diseases that's coming over here. We don't know a lot about these people. Right. And you're taking and you're infiltrating them with the American people. Do you know what that can cause or what that can, especially if these people are not properly vetted. Or and, if they hadn't had their shots, or, like we have hello, shots and stuff over yes. here. Yes, and then you have a bill uh, in California. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a bill to turn California into a sanctuary state. So wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. So that means that anybody illegal could just go to that state and mm -hmm. live in California? Right, 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 right. But mm -hmm. see, the taxpayers, we're already being drained dry. From paying on people that are even not even <clears> supposed <throat> to be here. In here in this country. How is it that as an American citizen, if you do something illegal right now, they take and lock you up and put you in jail. Mm -hmm. But when somebody comes to this country illegally, meaning they don't have their proper paperwork, meaning their grandfather stole the social security card from, from somebody <laughs> else. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We take and give them food, housing, clothing, medical. You see what I'm saying? Uh, absolutely. They even can file taxes, okay, because they got children or what have mm -hmm. you, and take American money. They make American dollars and pay no U.S. taxes and send that money back overseas, leaving the American people, you and our taxpayers, riding dirty. But, and, and I, but here, but, but how can you say you love America, hmm. but you take your money and you send it back from the place that you running from? That you're running but from. But the thing is, this is what I think President Trump is going to do. Mm -hmm. I think what he's going to do is, even though we're going to build the wall, that wall going up. That wall the is going wall's up. going up. I told even you that. Even though we're going to build a wall. Right. He's also going to help these countries yes. to make sure that they're coming up too. Right. To make sure that... They, because Mexico gonna stop. They can't. They, you can't pay your workers fifteen cent an hour. That's right. To do something for twelve, thirteen, fourteen dollars an hour. Right. And when I look at some of the <clears throat> ex presidents or what have you, and they call President Trump out of his name from Mexico. Well, what do that say about you as the, the, the ex-president or president of Mexico? That's right. That your people want to leave from over there. That's right. Because you don't you not make sure, right. you're not making sure that they have opportunities That's where right. they can come up. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And the wall is going to mm -hmm. be built. That We're going to start, up. the American people is going to start reaping the benefits from the taxes we pay. And if our tax dollars <clears> have to pay to build that wall, mm -hmm. then each and every time somebody come in across that border, you're going to have to pay that fee. You're going to have to pay us right yeah. on back. We're going to reap that reward oh, right absolutely. on back. Listen, That's right. listen, President Trump is very smart. Very when smart. When he tell you Mexico going to pay for it, yes. they is. Yes. Voluntarily or involuntary. Oh, yes, you, right. they, that money is going to be paid yes. and the wall is going to be built. So what I was saying is mm -hmm. that in California, they wanted to turn it into a sanctuary state. Mm -hmm. The bill would disallow the state from cooperating with federal law enforcement authorities and turning over illegal immigrants in custody. Also, uh, in Maryland, uh, County Howard County is also looking to turn that county into a sanctuary city. I'm just curious on these different, this, I'm curious on the different states and the different counties here. Are these, what type of places are you? But wait a minute. Yeah. Mm. So they going to set it up where these people can break the law. But if my homeboy Mookie down the street go and rob somebody, he going to jail. That's right. Mookie, and going Mookie to jail. If Mookie breaking somebody out, yeah. he going to jail. That's right. But they setting it up for these people just to, to be, be okay if they come to those different sanctuary That's cities where the problem lies. Yes. Because if we go to Mexico, we can't do that. They're going to lock you up. You walk your behind in can't that see what's going to happen? Gonna you ought to say your uh, visa somewhere overseas. Watch them come knocking on your door, baby. That's right. So what is, what's, I don't get what we're doing here. 
I don't get what the liberals want. And then when something happened, mm -hmm. they're looking crazy. They don't have any answers to the solution. Right. Okay? Right. So how do we solve problems if you can't even come to the table with an answer for what you're out there protesting about? Why else do you want us to do this here then? That's right. If you don't like the fact that he's putting up temporary paws on uh -huh. this until we can properly vet these people, That's right. then how do we properly vet these people? Because listen... They keep saying, oh, well, he's targeting Muslim countries. There are several Muslim countries That's right. over there that he didn't say anything about. That's right. There was seven. Right. And Obama deemed President these people. Obama is the one that deemed this. And all he did this. was follow that lead. And follow now you the got lead. the whole world that erupted. Right. And you got uh, over 120, I believe, 27 comp companies that done sign a motion to fight the, uh, President Trump on this ban, girl. Companies, because they say that the immigrants are the ones that built their company. Well, who are these companies? Ooh, should I stop buying Ooh. these products? Well, I just even listened to another company at this coffee joint. Mm -hmm. It's looking, want to hire 10,000 refugees. So my question to this coffee joint is what about hiring jobless and homeless veterans? That's right. First. I just passed a homeless person up yes. there in D.C., when I was at the inauguration, what about that? It is time to put That's Americans right. first. What about and, and, what, and, and if you go protest, yeah. we should be. They should be. Everybody should be protesting against these companies right. that want to put everybody else. See what's wrong with? Let me tell you what's wrong with these what companies. Tell us. They want to pay these people nickels and dimes. That's right. And that you know, and, and Trump ain't and, and, and President they, Trump ain't gonna let that happen. And they want to make these people the new age slaves. These oh, refugees. that's right. That's right. They and they make them a new And slaves. so refugees and immigrants, and illegal immigrants should understand. Right. You all are being made as slaves. That's right. And you can't you can't do that. Exactly. You want the same opportunity as an American. So when you come over here, you want to be an American. Yes. That's what you want to do. That's what you want. Uh -huh. That's what and you want. And give this administration time to know how to properly vet you. That's right. So you can pass that process so that you can come exactly. over here. And President Trump is not gonna say, Well, this is what we I love it. Yeah. He's not finna tell you what he finna do. No. See, that's the problem. Right. Obama had. Right. He would tell you word from word what he was about to, to do. do. The time why would you location, tell the enemy how what you going to do because now the enemy finna attack you you just told you just you just why gave would them you do that you don't ever you. give them any effort you, you be quiet and you lay low yeah and when you know anything bam it's in effect it's right you that's how you have to that, do that that's how you are supposed See, they to don't know. know how to fight they don't but know then how when to... you look at this country right now this is a true example on why the country is stagnated right why it hadn't moved any further forward it's going back mm -hmm. to where the middle class is during their obsolete you don't even know who the middle class right. is right now. And if this is the greatest country on earth, right. then why is it 90% of the people are poor? Right. There is no more middle class. And then they want to tax the middle class and make them pay for everything. Think? Stop riding the backs of the middle class. That's right. I want to see upper middle class and middle class people. Right. And you're going to stop riding the backs of them. And That's it's right. okay to be rich in this country That's too. That's right. Stop riding the backs of the rich because the rich are the ones that create the That's jobs. Right. And as long as they're are poor people in poverty there should not be anyone else getting american jobs before, before them apps, girl ain't that's the truth girl. somebody need to tell some of these countries Woo. that's right that's they should be the first one on the list yeah and then when you look out for yourself all right now we can look out for everybody else but it's that's not right. that's why he listen that's why president trump ran on america first first America right. first. And I'm we America can't help first. People. You can't help outside people from a half empty cup. That's right. You can only help them from your overflow. That's just like me here. If I have a house full of children and I'm letting my children in here go be lacking because I'm trying to help my neighbors two doors down children right. trying to get them clothes for school but my babies don't got no clothes for right. school trying to feed that household but my household is starving that's right that's exactly what's going on somebody here. said well refugees can go to beverly hills no they won't accept them in beverly oh, hills no what no, they no. would do is drop them in the hood right and then the ones that's coming from overseas that can't assimilate to our ways right now you're gonna have like a turf war that's right because they're gonna want you to be day way right that's why they should build them their own safe zones in, in their, their own, own homes, homes. Because right. you know your way of living. Because yes. everybody going to want, some people going to want to eat pork. Even though I gave up a little bit of that pork because right, I said right. that stuff 
have my pressure up Girl. where it looked like everything is written in Russian. Wait, let me tell you. <laughs> I made some collard greens and some ham hogs. Okay. Uh, uh, about two weeks ago. And just made some, and oh God, when mm -hmm. I say that they were delicious, I had some little red peppers and little cayenne peppers. So just you give just it a had to get, yeah. Oh, it was so delicious. But girl, what girl? After I finished eating them collard greens <laughs> and ham hock, I went and sat down. <laughs> yeah, they Everything like a, was like, look like a little blood. I was like, oh hell, what's, what's happening? <laughs> Is the world coming to an end? So I had to get up and actually start walking around in the house, walking around to, because something had had your And after that, that yeah, I had to throw the rest of the yeah. ham hocks out. I said, I, but you know, I said, I'm going to eat a little bacon, but not as much as right. I used to. I'm going to bag right. it up. Right. And I said, I, I'm, I'm going to keep a lot of fish in my day. I love fish. I can eat oh, fish yes, every yes, single yes. day. Yeah. Fish, crabs, I like that. Right. But I said, I'm going I'm to gonna, I'm gonna lay up a little bit off that bacon. Right. But everybody ain't going to want to give up their bacon and stuff. Well, that's why everybody they have the wanna... turkey bacon, mm. even though sometimes that turkey bacon look, tastes like cardboard. But I think that it's not what you eat, it's how much you eat or what you right. eat. So instead of eating four slices of bacon, make it two slices or right. one and a half slices. But the reason why I brought up pork is because I know people from other countries, they don't believe in eating pork. Right. And what I'm telling people is you can't come over here and want somebody to give up their pork when that's what they used to eat. Right. So we got to learn how to... I, I want when you come in America, you assimilate to our way. Right. I really do. I, 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 that's what I, I If decide. I'm not mistaken, back in the day, you had to pass a test. You used to have to pass a test, mm -hmm. and you used to have to be able to speak English before you can even come here to this country. Yeah, some of you, I don't even know what the hell you say. You're talking to me. I don't know nothing. I don't speak. You answer for, I answer for, yes, 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 yes. I don't understand what you're saying. Right. We got to understand what you're saying. But I bet you people say, Diamond, we don't understand what you be saying. <laughs> <laughs> you talk so fast. Yeah. But we want to understand what you're saying, and we want you to assimilate to our ways. That's right. We want you to love our Constitution, and we want you to love us over here in America right. if you want to come. We don't close our doors to keep people out. Right. We close our door and secure our, our place to keep the people on the inside, inside safe. safe. I'm not trying to keep people out of my house. Right. I'm trying to keep my own self safe. That's right. Because I don't want somebody to come at my door and I don't yeah. know what you are about. But when somebody come knocking at your door, uh, you got to identify I yourself. I know who you are. That's right. You I'm not a vet. You ain't just it ain't back in the day where you just say, come in. No, oh, the doors open. Uh, uh, oh, no, you no, can't no, do no, that. no, 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 right, no. We right, got right. to know who, what, what we're dealing with. And who's walking amongst us. So I'm going to say to this judge, I really hope that they get this here together. Um, I think there's 24 hours from now, the Ninth Court Circuit Court of Appeals will be holding um, hearings on this travel. They call it quote unquote ban. We're calling it a pause on immigration so we can see what they are going to say. Mm -hmm. I heard this could possibly go all the way to the Supreme Court. You know, I don't want the Supreme Court making decisions for us. I, 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 listen, you got how many just eight? I don't want them uh, making all of these decisions for us and bypassing the will of the people. Other people. people. That but be irritating. If I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> I heard it on, on Saturday, February the 4th, mm -hmm. that uh, they uh, denied President Trump's appeal. Okay, so what now, so what's uh, happening? Our argument is supposed to begin in 24 hours. Okay, the ninth course, uh, Circuit Court of Appeals, yeah, to hold a hearing on this ban, right? Um, and a lot of the tech companies signed a motion to fight um, President Trump's ban. So, right. in 24 hours, we were here to see what that's what's about, gonna happen? what's gonna happen, people, because the Justice Department stepped in, is what I heard. And, to... and look at it like this here imagine. Your house. Imagine you're sitting in your house right now, mm -hmm. and there's water running into your house. Into the pipes. Uh huh. No, no, no. Just running into your house. Mm. There's no pipes. Mm. There is no sink. <laughs> there is no faucet. There is no drain. Just water running into your house. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That means it's going to be a terrible flood. It's going to be a flood, baby. If we continue to allow people to just come into our country without properly vetting them, we have no system in place, no laws in place to properly vet them. Right. And those laws is there. They're just not being enforced. Right. Okay. Guess what? It's going to be a flood of something uh -huh. like no other. Uh -huh. And, and it's going to be a disaster. It's going to be a disaster. And, and, and one thing I like about our president, President Trump, uh -huh. don't wait till something happens. Right. Nip it in the but bud now. Right now. Don't wait till something happens and then you said, uh-oh, oops. Uh-oh, oops, my behind. That's it's too right. late for that. Yeah. You should have Listen. Don't wait until you come down with diabetes and stop eating the snacks. That's right. To stop eating little Debbie. That's right. Cupcakes. Yes. I was looking at something the other day. Yes. Uh, 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 ding dong roll out. Yes. I had to go have me one. <laughs> 
You want to get a hold of well, yourself now. First off, uh -huh. Debbie ain't paying us to talk about it. Oh, I forgot. Look, bye. <laughs> We can't talk about the, you know, the sugar. I'm the just car. saying, don't wait till stuff happen right. before you make a move. Always make a move before, before it happens. It Save happened. yourself, baby. Save yourself. You can already see what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. The writing is on the mm -hmm. doggone wall, and I do not Ooh. know why we wait. And listen to me. Mm -hmm. When people from other countries that hate us see us divided. Yeah. Oh. Some bickering in the streets. Yes. Some out with they sign protesting. Yes. Some acting a fool. Yeah. When they see that, that is a way for the enemy to infiltrate us, you yes. all. And next thing you know, now there is a disaster. A disaster. Watch what I tell you. Yeah. So that's why we need to get on this issue. We need to be united. So let me do let me do a, a, a analogy mm -hmm. against that. So imagine that, you know, there's a husband and there's a wife. There's a husband uh -huh. and a wife. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. And there is some problems going on in the middle of that relationship, in the middle of that marriage. Somebody tripping. Somebody tripping, mm -hmm. okay. There's a lot of tripping going on, but... Your neighbors outside, your friends, see what's going on between the husband and the wife. They yep. arguing, fussing, yep. fighting. Your neighbors being nosy. Uh -huh, Go uh -huh. ahead. But you allow them to be nosy. You know why? Why? Because you keep telling your neighbor what's going on with Jim, and Jim keeps telling the neighbor what's going on with Kim. So they, 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 they you keeping people in your business. Mm -hmm. Just look at what's going on right I now. I see it. Okay. Mm -hmm. all right, 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 right. And then all of a sudden, what? here come Nancy. That's how come they to do. tiptoe uh -huh. in the middle of the relationship because uh -huh. she want to get with Jim. See, that's okay. how they do, girl. Uh -huh. That's how they uh -huh. do. Uh -huh. well, they, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Was, uh, the, the, she was able to infiltrate, infiltrate it because she saw the uh, division. Uh, Did she see it, girl? Oh, she yes. saw it. Yes. Okay, so Nancy's over here with Jim. Mm -hmm. Now Kim is over here. See? See, Kim can either go beat up Jim, she can be she can beat up Nancy, or she can go get her. Right, uh, right, right. Uh, a piece. Uh huh. That's right. You see what I'm saying? I got what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when the enemy see y'all bickering and fighting, mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. a way for them to come in and attack, mess up your marriage, mess up America's house, the country, blow up stuff, hello, hurt up people. Do you get it? This is what we trying to avoid. Right. Another thing, you all. I was listening to the news. Fifty one people done got shot. Last month in Chicago. Wow. President Trump, go ahead and send the feds in. It looks yeah. like the mayor there don't know what he's he's doing and don't know how to do it. Uh huh. It is time for President Trump. Go ahead, send you the feds in. That got to stop, but, girl. It's but I bet too much. you the law-abiding citizens there in Chicago will welcome the feds. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 They because it looks like nobody know what to do when it comes to all of this crime. Right. Get somebody in Get there somebody to properly do what they need to, to do, do it. to help Chicago. That's right. Because that's unacceptable. That's almost over one person a day right. getting getting killed. Killed. That's senseless. So so why do we want to add more to those problems? Right. We have to fix America problems. Right. We don't need people coming to in, to our country and getting hurt. Right. We don't need people coming in here that wants to hurt us. Mm -hmm. Let's fix America problems That's first. Right. And we have to be the voice of reasoning. Right. We can't continue on bickering all weekend long. You know, I had to cut the I had to cut the well, TV yeah, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. had to cut uh, people say Diamond is turn the TV off. I know, but I say cut. Cut right. it. Right. I had to cut right. the TV off. <laughs> Smith. Because, right, because it was too much. Right. And I'm like, I really wish these people would understand. This is dangerous. Yes. You sitting out there protesting. There before the grace of God. That's right. Anybody can come in the midst of your protest and do and something And just do dumb. something. That's right. And you don't want that. Exactly. And I have to commend President Trump. Yes. For sticking to his word. Yes. A lot of people get in office. They don't pay. They, how do they having dinners? Yes. Drinking tea. Here. Yeah. They not thinking about. Penis. Spending on taxpayer on vacation uh -huh, uh -huh. the first weekend. Right. And that's why I need everybody, especially the ones that work around him, to understand. If you are up there just for a photo op, hmm. quit. Quit. Because what's going to happen, he going to fire you. Right. We sent President Trump up there to do a job. job. All of you all that's working around him, that's it's right. your job to make sure you're making him look good. That's right. And if you're doing anything to make him look bad, you got you need to quit. Yes. Or the American people going to push for you to lose your job. You're absolutely because your job is not to sit for a cute photo op. Your job is to get up behind your behind and work. That's right. You gonna have to work. That's what we sent you up and, there to do. And the good thing about it is President Trump owe nobody. Mm -mm. He didn't take no money from lobbyists. Boom. He don't owe anybody. Don't so owe he's there thing. to work 
strictly and totally for the American, for the American people. people. That's what he's there that's for. That's right. And, 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 and all of these little snakes in the grass, mm -hmm. you know who I'm talking about, yeah. that's up there. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's, that's trying to take and keep it divided. Mm -hmm. That's leaking information from yeah, the yeah. White House. Leaking. I, you, and, and listen, mm -hmm. President Trump, he got to trust people. Who, but, but, you got to be trustworthy. That's right. And if he senses it, because pre I love him because he's so intuitive. Intuitive, yes. Some of you all are gonna be get to get he, get away, you're away. Fired. Uh, you're fired. You're yeah. fired. Uh -huh. Bye. Uh -huh. So out. he is positioning and putting people in certain place because right. we can't have all of these leaks. Exactly. And shame on the people that's doing that. That's Moles right. in the house. It's yes. time for y'all to get up out the White House. Yes. Go ahead on somewhere else yes. because your job is to go up there and work, not for a good photo op. You right. to run back and start running off at your mouth. Right. About things that you think you don't know, mm -hmm. and then all you got to do is, is any little thing leak the media. They don't took it and spent it some kind of way. Now everybody's acting crazy, acting retarded. Everybody is. Everybody's mm -hmm. acting retarded. Yes, 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 yes. You yes. know something came across my desk the other day. My girl. Um, you know I had uh had them to go ahead and Facebook and tweet out whenever we did the prayer at eleven twenty one a.m. Eastern yes. Standard, mm -hmm. and a lot of people was asking why eleven twenty one. Okay, why eleven twenty one? So what ended up happening when President Trump made his announcement mm -hmm. that he will be uh, running for president, mm -hmm. it was at eleven twenty one when he said those words. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Eleven twenty one a.m. Eastern Standard Time right. is when he said those exact words. Right. Uh, it was back in April of last year. Mm -hmm. Whenever uh, he was going through the primaries. And it was, they threw everything at our man, including the kitchen sink, yes. the knives, mm -hmm. the closet doors, the furniture, everything right. at him. And I, we was on a show uh -huh. and I came to you and I was like, we need to do, you came uh, we up want to with do it. prayer at 1121. Mm -hmm. um, some people can fast and pray. We, we're not looking for you to starve yourself, right. you know, where you can see your, mm -hmm. your stomach and your rib cages and stuff. Mm -hmm. But what we're talking about is just prayer. 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 And you know what? One thing that we believe in is the power of prayer. We believe in the power of prayer. And prayer changes it things. It do. Period. Mm -hmm. And so, so the that's the Eastern Standard Time comes from that. From that right. That's the exact time that President Trump uttered those words. Prayer got our man through the primary. Yes, he did. Yes, it did. Prayer got our man through the general election. Yes, it did. And it's going to take prayer to get our man through these nets four to eight years Absolutely. of his presidency mm -hmm. and 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 we all have to pray together as together, one because where two or three is touching in the green he's in the midst the lord is right there in the uh -huh. midst of all of this and that has to be the foundation yes we can go and we can say what we're going to do and we're going to do this and do that mm -hmm. back but i found that the only way to defeat all of the opposition right. and the incoming that's coming absolutely way is through the power, the of, power prayer. of prayer. That's right, you all. Yes. We're gonna have to stick together. And right. I believe that the liberals will calm themselves down. They will tie they like little babes. They yes. will tire themselves out exactly. and then go to sleep. Yeah. Or stay awoke to see this all go down. Right. A lot of these people are also, you all, very scared that that President Trump is going to make them look like fools. He is. Because he's he a career is. politicians. And you got the outsider coming in. He's his own man. Right. And one thing, baby, he calls the shots. Yes. And he calling the shots. That's right. And he controlling the media. Yes. And you know what? I talk to people on the phone. I got a phone call the other day for somebody that said, Hi, I don't even listen to the media no more. I look to see what the president going to tweet out. That's right. I love it. Yes. People are hanging on to his every word. Right. And they can say whatever they want to. The media no longer influence Americans. Right. We can think for ourselves. Yes. We don't need you taking one word and twisting it. No. Now you got everybody arguing, bicking, and fighting because you need some ratings. Right. Pretty soon the media is going to be obsolete as we and know. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And when you when I listen to these snowflakes, <laughs> and when I think of snowflakes, mm -hmm. they just melt away. Those they just, just melt, melt away. away. Yes, they do. And when I listen to them, I'm like, what the? Do you hear what you're saying? What mm -hmm. the words is coming? They have no reasoning for protesting. They're just doing it just to be out there doing it. Right. And rioting. And just to just be to out be there rioting. just to do it. Just to just do to it. Just to say that I'm out here in the midst right. of it. Because you know the media is going to cover it. Right. But when there's something positive going on. Right. You don't see, you don't see that. Nowhere. You don't see that. Mm -mm. Well, speaking of positive, girl, I mm -hmm. was looking at the Twitter feed. Yes. I believe. Now, I heard. Maybe I shouldn't put this out. 
But this is what I heard. And we'll say allegedly because I don't know. Okay. Sheriff Clark, I think he's thinking about running for the Senate. Senator of uh, uh, for Wisconsin. I don't know if it's true. Uh huh. I think that's what that said. Wow. I believe it. And if it's true, congratulations, Sheriff Clark. That's you right. know we are behind you one percent. I love Sheriff. I love him. Yeah. I do. I like his ideology. I like the fact that he tells it just like it, it is. is, just like it is, he and don't people he don't sugarcoat no. it. And you all, sometimes he could be ruthless on TV, but we had the opportunity to meet him in person. Yes. He is a lovely guy. He's yes, a lovely he man. And he's very humble. He's oh, a yes. very humble guy. And when he when he was shocked when he saw us, yes. we were shocked when we saw him, but he was like shocked when he saw us. So mm -hmm. he, but yes, he's a, he's very, a very humble guy. So nice I don't know yes. if he's running from senator or congressman. Uh -huh. I don't know, but you, good. Because I like it that different people yes. are getting involved in our government so we'll know how things work. work so it will work for the good of, of all, all and not just the few that's another thing that i love about diamond and silk god has blessed us with this platform mm -hmm. to be able to educate people and to talk to people mm -hmm. so that they can see it from a different perspective mm -hmm. and it, we can relate to them mm -hmm. in a manner where if it don't benefit you, mm -hmm. we'll let you know. Right. If it benefits you, we'll, we'll let, let you know. know. And in the midst of it all, we learn how to agree to, to disagree. disagree. That's right. <laughs> that's what I love. That's right. Uh -huh. That's Absolutely. what I love. Now, listen, you all, this has been a lovely, a fabulous uh, uh, Facebook Live tonight. Yeah. Remember, this Facebook Live is being brought to you by Choo Choo Baby. So I want you to head over to the Diamond and Silk store, mm -hmm. get your Choo Choo Baby mug, your Choo Choo Baby gear, like your hoodie, your t-shirts, even a Trump bling pin. Bing. Your name is going to be entered into a drawing. Yeah. And we're going to be pulling those names on March the 3rd. And we're going to be having lunch. Five places around the country yes. with five different sets of people. Yes. And we love it. So we're putting five names. So visit the Diamond and Silk Store, diamondandsilkstore.com. And again, we are trying to reach one million likes on our yes, Facebook page. Yes. And we are almost there. We are at 868, I believe. Okay, so we're almost there. Great. Yes, we're so almost there. So make sure that you invite your family, your friends, even the ones that, that don't that don't like Diamond and Silk. That's right. Because we're hoping that they don't like us so much right. that they'll start loving us. Yes. <laughs> That's right. hey, but, 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 be cautious what you put on our page. That's because right. Because one thing about Diamond and Silk, we don't entertain other people's pain we put their name on the wall of shame and baby once your name go on the wall of shame That's employers right. can yes. see you yes. all kinds of people can see you That's listen right. we want you to have your opinion right but it better not be no derogatory no, stuff because be. you call somebody out their name your yep. name going up there on that wall of shame exactly. and then you all people will see it <laughs> and see you for who you are the That's racist right. and the rhetoric that you yes. spread yeah you know they will see it that and shout out to the people that makes comments on the side of our Facebook oh page. Oh my God, all of you all. Everybody. Thank you. We uh, love you. Everybody that sent us a card through the mail, sent yes. us a letter. We love you all. All yes. of the emails, listen, you all. We get tons of stuff. So sometimes we can't read everything, but we absolutely love all right. of you all. And yes. I thank you all so much for thank just you. loving us back. Yes. You know, I don't ever want to hear anybody say, I can't find love or uh, love doesn't exist. Woo. If you open yourself up and just yes. be who you are, yes. you have all, all of these of love. people just loving you back. And the love far, far outweighs. Any other little hate. Any other hate. Yes. Okay. So listen, we diamond and silk, and we just coming to give you the two one one. We call it the two one one. <laughs> because it's two of us. And we're the ones giving it to and you. And we're the ones giving it to you. you did I have a brain freeze? Yeah, you had a two of brain freeze every now and then. <laughs> so listen, in the meantime and in between time, don't forget our prayer at 1121 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And listen, pray for our country. Pray for our president. Yes. We will see you all next time right here on Facebook Live. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.